help anything. So uh, hopefully it's just uh, small things and the space station keeps running. Over. Hey, Caden. Yeah, our, our bodies are very used to having gravity. And so for the first uh, month or so, it takes some getting used to up here. And for uh, at least for me, my lower back really started getting stiff and the muscles would tighten up a little bit. But eventually you get used to it. Over. It was both mentally and physically strenuous, uh, but it was also a lot of fun learning lots of different things, working with great people, and doing getting to do some pretty, just pretty amazing things. Over. Hey, Ainsley, that's a great question. Uh, I think for me, it actually just reinforced the way I see life. Uh, but certainly seeing the Earth from this perspective uh, makes you realize how fragile and unique it is uh, in the solar system and in the universe uh, and makes you want to uh, take care of it and make sure that we keep it beautiful uh, for the future. Over. Uh, go after that and go after it, uh, you know, as, as hard as you can, but don't be afraid to set big goals. Hey, Santiago, I sure hope so, uh, but uh, one of the reasons we all do it as often is it's also very dangerous, and so we only do it when we absolutely, uh, absolutely need over. Hey, Ellie, there are so many amazing things up here. Uh, the first thing uh, is right after our rocket separated from the second stage. You could see the second stage out the window flying right next to our capsule. So that was pretty amazing. But since I've been up here, I think some of the most amazing things are sunsets and the aurora or northern lights. Over. Yeah, we sure have. Um, we, uh, we got to talk to Palmer Station down in Antarctica for uh, a, a few times as our orbit went past there. So that was really special to get to talk to them because they're isolated on a uh, science station, much like we are over here. So I sleep uh, pretty good in space now. I think I'll sleep really good when I get back home because I can't wait to Docking. Uh, normally, uh, there are all and then we're standing by in case we have to take over for something because the humans can uh, usually do it better in an emergency or when the equipment starts to fail. Over. Uh, we're starting to break up. It's getting hard to understand you guys. If you're asking about mascots, uh, we usually bring up a zero-G indicator, uh, and it's usually a stuffed animal. I brought uh, one of my youngest daughter's uh, small turtles. Uh, his name is Zippy, and he was our zero-G indicator, and he uh, sits in my uh, crew quarters with me. Over. It was great talking with you guys. You had some great questions. I hope you guys uh, just have a great day, and I hope you over 73. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a uh, great day over 73.